every single time I do a video about hairstyling or hair loss, there's something that creeps up in the comments. A whole host of you want me to try derma rollers, aka micro needling. These are essentially cylindrical rollers that have minuscule spikes all over the surface. These devices are designed to puncture the skin and induce extra blood flow to a specific area. Intentional wounding, it sounds bizarre, right? Well, when it comes to hair loss, the general intention is to increase blood flow to the scalp and induce additional hair growth. That's a very simplified explanation. If you want to learn more about the technicalities of the process, I'll put some further reading in the video description. Aside from that, you can apparently use these to treat acne in certain skin conditions, but that isn't what we're gonna be doing in this video. I recently ordered one of these, so I thought it'd be funny to try one out for the first time on camera. If you wanna try one of these along with me, there'll be a link to whichever one I bought on Amazon in the description. Honestly, I'm not sure what to expect. If this will hurt or if this will even work in the long run, I'll keep you updated over time to see if there's any progress. But for now, let's give this a go. Okay, so honestly, I've got no idea what to expect. Uh, let's crack this open and see what we're in for. It's actually a little bit smaller than I expected. This is just some random generic brand. The one I've gone for here is 1.5 millimeters, so that's the length of the spikes. I've read that that needle size tends to be quite good for the things I'm gonna be doing, but they do vary depending on what application you want. I've heard other people using smaller ones than this, but I thought, heck, we'll go for one of the longer ones. Okay, so, taking a look at this, oh my lord. I don't know what I've put myself in for here. The spikes on this thing look absolutely brutal. Uh, <laughs> I mean, at least they're relatively small, but there's a lot more of them tightly packed together than I expected. Maybe this is going to hurt. I have got uh, a cup of water and some tissues down here in case my face starts pouring with blood. We will see. So I've read that there's many ways of going about this um, with using other oils and stuff like that. For today, I'm just going to use this, see how it is. Maybe in the comments, if any of you use these, you can recommend some weird stuff to put with it. I'm going to attempt to go around the hairline here, uh, maybe slightly into the hairline at the front middle. See what it feels like, see what it does. Okay. Why am I nervous, <laughs> Why am I nervous about this? It's really weird. It's really weird. That feels different than I was expecting. Um, I thought I'd feel like loads of individual pricks. Um, I think that because they're so tightly packed together, it feels like you're slicing yourself. It feels like there's a blade instead. My skin's, my skin's already starting to slowly go red at the top. I'm gonna start from this side, you know. I'm right-handed, I think this might go slightly better. Not too bad, getting used to it already. Um, I'm gonna try it in a couple of different directions and then we're gonna stop. I'm not going over too much because I don't wanna damage it. Oh, it's feeling red raw. I'm gonna go into the hairline a little bit up here. And I'm gonna do the same up here. And I could use it on the center back of the head, but I want to see how this goes first. <laughs> and I've just been left with a bit of tingling after using, to be honest. I might just, you know, try and sterilize this again and see how we get on. Up until now, my skin has gone pretty red, but there's actually no blood. I've seen people online where there's literally blood pouring down the face, and that isn't the case here. Maybe I haven't done it enough. Maybe I'll do a bit more. Really weird, really weird. I'm very skeptical about this sort of thing, to be honest. I really don't see realistically how this could give a massive impact, um, but maybe it'll do something. So I'm gonna wait 60 seconds, uh, see, how, see if it you know, looks any different, see if it's got any more red or anything like that, so you know what to expect if you're trying this. Okay, so 60 seconds has gone by and um, it's just getting a bit more red in these areas, especially around the sides here It seems to be getting very red rather than the the front of the hairline Overall, I've heard that you can use these with uh, numbing 
I don't think you need it. I don't think it actually hurts that much, to be honest, at least for me, it just feels weird. Overall though, this sort of treatment, this is supposed to be like a really long-term thing that's only supposed to bring back a fraction. I'll keep you updated though in a few months time, we'll see how we get on. I'm gonna go now, rinse my face off a little bit and I'll see you in the next one.